Hello, hello everyone. Happy Tuesday and y'all, happy new catalog. Oh, this thing is so pretty and I can finally open it up and show you. <laughs> um, I am in love with these new stamp sets. You know, we always get sad when the old ones go away, but the new ones are spectacular and I think everyone will love them as much as I do. Um, I'm going to get on here on my iPad so I can kind of see what's going on. And let's do this. There we go. I need to also see comments. Hello, hello, Carrie. Oh, and you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put my stuff on Do Not Disturb. Let me do that because I, for whatever reason, have been getting lots and lots of junk text messages. That's been crazy. All right. Will it go away now? There it goes. <laughs> Um, okay, let me share it really quick to my Facebook page and then I think I should be good to go and we will all be here together and ready. All right, come join. Oops, it's going to shake it. The fun. All right. There's so many things to do when you go live. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I have the time, don't even remember. Um, okay, make sure you share, make sure you comment, um, make sure you give me a thumbs up, that always helps. I did not draw prizes last week. I think I forgot in the hustle and bustle of making sure that we were going to have the products so that we could see the new products last week that I had ordered. Um, but I have one more of the Love Cat stamp set. And then I also have the Designer Tags dies, which I think these have been retired for a while. Obviously, both of these are retired. I still have a lot of stuff in my um, giveaway box that is now retired, but that's okay because y'all will still love it, right? Um, so anyway, make sure you comment, make sure you share, give me a thumbs up, and your name will go in for the drawing for next week. Um, we're going to use a new product from this catalog. If you need a catalog, please let me know. Email me and I will, um, I will get one in the mail to you. If we're in a new month, yay! <laughs> and um, I have a new card. This is the tutorial for May. There are 44 projects in our tutorial bundle. Make sure that, um, not make sure, but when you order from me and you spend at least $50, you get those 44 project tutorials for free. Mine, I do a video as well now, so you've got that as well. Um, but there are some really good projects this month. I... Actually, there's good projects every month. They're always really, really good. All right, let me hit, for some reason, I went away. There we go. Um, I think that's it. I forgot to bring over the cards for club, because um, I'm trying to type them up, so they're all packaged and in my work bag. So I will um, get that posted probably, probably by Friday. We'll see. But anyway, um, so I'll show you Club, uh, what is it called? Simply Creative Club. Um, and those projects are using Playing in the Rain. It's using that bundle. Um, I am doing something a little different because I wanted to make sure that uh, what I was using for this month, since it's kind of like an in-between month, um, you know, going from one catalog to another, that it was something that was going to be in the new catalog. So I decided on that. If you choose to get the bundle and you don't already have it, I will actually still give you the bundle pricing just like if it was still the 10% off. I'm doing that only for this one since there was that transition. Um, so just know that. And the last thing I want to talk about is the catalog launch party. 
So it's a little different this time. And this is my project. This is using the Lazy Days, which I absolutely love. Um, the catalog launch party is a little different than it has been in the past. It is actually on a platform so that worst case scenario, if something happens, it's not going to shut us down. Um, the reason was last time with Facebook, we got shut down. Um, they couldn't post the last day of presentations. There was no commenting, no liking. It was a hot mess. So you do have to register. They will ask for name, email, and address. They, the Stephanie, who runs Crafty Collaborations for us, she will actually not assign you to her email list. She is only asking for, um, let's see, but you can't find it. Okay, so um, I'll tell you how to get there in a minute, okay, Deb? Um, in there, you will just click through. Everything is open, so you can literally do it at your own pace now. Everything's in order. I think I'm like the fourth or fifth demonstrator down. I actually got my projects in early this time. <laughs> So, um, I'm not on the last day or the last one um, like I was last time because I was ahead of the game this time. Um, but there's different fun games now that you can play. I did a couple of them today um, just to kind of see how they were. There is a prize patrol. You can only do the prize patrol once a day. Um, it's kind of like a scratch and win. Um, it will take you to another browser, like another window in your browser. Um, so, don't freak out when it does that. And let's see what else. Um, oh, the games. Let me tell you about the games. So there's a puzzle, which is the front of the catalog, I believe. No, it might not be the front of the catalog. It's not the front of the catalog. I don't know what it is, but I can't remember what picture it is. But anyway, it's one of the pictures from the catalog. It's a puzzle. There's a word search. There's a um, um, crossword puzzle. Y'all, it's really fun and it's really interactive. You can still comment, you can still do those things. So make sure you do that. Deb, um, if you signed up for it, oh, that's really sweet that he's doing your dishes. Yay, <laughs> that's awesome. Um, if you go to my YouTube channel now, in I've made it um, public, the video, and if you, click in that link um, or in the description of that video, there's a link to take you straight to it. Um, so just click that and then you can go straight to where you need to sign in. If you're having issues, just let me know and I can get you in contact with Stephanie and she'll get it worked out for you. So when we did our little test run this morning, there were a couple of us having some issues. So we got all those fixed, all those worked out, and it seems to be running really, really smooth. So it is well worth it. Make sure that you go check it out. I don't know how many presenters there are, but there are quite a few and there are some really good projects. So make sure you go check it out. Um, and I think that's it. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's it because you know what? <laughs> the greatest thing in the world is that we have new projects and I get to play with them. <laughs> and I get to show you what I've played with. Okay, I'm gonna put you guys down. So I'm gonna cover it up and swing it down. And then I got to flip you. There we go. Okay. This is still the host code. Don't forget, if you order a minimum of $35, and apparently I cannot get this <laughs> onto just my wood <laughs> sticker in here. Um, if you order $35 uh, or more, you will get the make and take packet or the packet, the class packet from me for today's projects. We are using the Cheerful Daisies. Now, if you know me, you really know, I'm not much of a flower person, but I love daisies. Um, I will actually tell you my favorites are Gerber daisies. I like the bright blue, you know, the ones that they dye. I like the blues and the orange. We don't say that one very loud though. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, and the pink and the purple, I love, and the yellow, like I love girl daisies. So I went ahead and decided to get this bundle and we are going to play with it tonight. And I, I have four projects, but tonight we're going to do three and these are what the make and takes will be. And then um, I will have a fourth project for you on Friday. There will be a video and then there will be a blog post. So um, there is a blog post for today. I just, um, I just actually got it posted because I had to wait until I got home in order to put the products in there because last night it wouldn't let me do it since they were not live yet. So we are going to do this card first. And I know it looks like a lot, but I promise I've already done most of it. <laughs> Y'all won't have to watch too, too hard. Um, I have one thing too, real quick. The Boho Blue embossing machine. We're going to use it some tonight. Guess what? For those of you who are customers, you can buy the Boho Blue embossing machine now. It is a mini. It is wonderful. It sits great on your desk. I love it. And it's pretty. <laughs> so, um, if you are interested in that, you can order that straight off of the website right now. Um, at least the last time I checked. So, <clears throat> I hope it is still there. <laughs> All right, so let's get diving into this card. We are going to not use any end colors on this one. We are going to use end colors on the next card. I think that's it actually. So, I didn't use many of the end colors, but I am liking the, the end colors. I'm liking them quite a bit. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. And I will have an in color club. The in color club will, the deadline is May the 15th. So that will, that information will get posted today now that the catalog is live. Um, Y'all, I can't remember what the cost is. Now off the top of my head, I had the flyer, but I don't know what I did with the flyer either. I am probably a hot mess <laughs> when it comes to all kinds of forms. But if you go to the um, catalog launch uh, website, my, my flyers are posted in there because I do have pictures of them. So, um, but I want to say, I want to say the Enclosure Club is $60 a month and it's for five months. So you will get your first in color at the end of May. And then you'll get, you know, end of May, 1st of June, and then it'll go all the way until you've gotten five months. And then you'll have all the in colors, the actual ink pads. You will have the cardstock. You will have the, um, the twine, the ribbon, the marker, the blends, and then you'll have a bunch of embellishments that will have those colors included as well. Um, and then... I do have a paper share, so we're just gonna put this right on front. This, real quick, as a side note, we're using the Basics 3D embossing folder. This is the hash mark. I think that's what we established it's called. So, hey Nancy. Um, okay, so we've got that on there, and then we're gonna take a circle that is from the Stylish Shapes, and we're going to attach it. We're just gonna use a regular, adhesive um the other thing I did mean to tell you because you know there's so much right now when a new catalog comes out um, I will have a paper share I think I posted the wrong price when I was talking to people before about it it is actually only $65 and you'll get a sampling of all the new paper in the catalog um, but again I will post information on that soon too and because I was yapping I forgot to stamp the sentiment, but hold on. We can fix that. This is the great thing <laughs> about being live and chatting. You forget what you're doing. All right. Let's stamp our sentiment. We're going to use Misty Moonlight. Ta-da. Ta-da. 
And then we will adhere this back on too. This is just a silicone mat. It keeps things from sticking. You have adhesive on the back. But I'm gonna put a lot of adhesive on it now since I stuck it on that. Hey, Linda. All right, so let's put this here. And now I'm gonna really adhere it, make sure it sticks good. Okay. So we're gonna stick this one here and we're gonna lay it flat. So we're just gonna go ahead and put adhesive on the back. We do have one that we will stamp and cut, I promise. But I didn't think you really wanted to watch me do all of that. So, all right. So we've got that one on there. And then this one is gonna go right about here. So we're gonna pop this one up. So let's put two dimensionals on it. We're gonna stick that right there. And then we've got this one here. We're gonna put two dimensionals on the back of it. I, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. <laughs> When I first looked at the new catalog, very first time when demonstrators were allowed to look at it, I was kind of like, oh, there's some really cute things, you know, it's wonderful. But then when I really looked at it, I really fell in love. All right, I'm trying to kind of get this so that it won't cover up too much. Okay, there we go. We're gonna take this little sprig right here and we're gonna go ahead and cut it. Um, so anyway, I have a very, 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 very long list, very long list. <laughs> um, I am, uh, I actually did not order anything yet today. I may not, not today, because I did order a good amount on the pre-order. So I'm trying to be a good, a good girl, I guess. All right, so we're going to put a, um, a glue dot on the back of that. And we're gonna pick it up and slide it right on under like that. We're gonna take some leaves and all these are from the dies. So you can see here, there's like the sprig looking one. And then here's your, um, your leaves are actually a part of this large die. And I just cut out the leaf part. And what we're gonna do is we're going to cut off the bottom so that they are separate. And then we're gonna put some glue dots on them. And we'll stick these together like this. And then we're gonna put another glue dot on the back to make sure it stays real good. And then we're gonna pick this one up a little bit. We're gonna stick that right on down in there. Okay, all right. Before we go, actually, let's do one more of the leaf right here. The glue dot. We're gonna do the top part. And then we are going to all right, so we've got that. We're gonna stamp, we need one more of these. That's what I left for us to stamp. We're gonna use a new color called Lemon Lolly. This is a very hard color to see, very, very hard color. At first, it kind of hurt my eyes, <laughs> to be honest. Okay, so the easiest way to do the daisies is to stamp the outline first. And we're actually gonna do it this way. Okay, and then we want to do our solid image and we're going to grab a piece of grid paper. We're gonna ink it up and we're gonna stamp it off and then we're gonna fill it in. I tried with these stamps, I did the solid image first 
and then did the outline just to try it, just to see which way was easiest. And I found out that it is easier to do the outline and then do the inside. Some stamps um, are better the other way, but these actually work really well this way. All right, so let's bring in our little blue machine. And we're gonna cut this one out. Find my little, and we are gonna stamp our little center part, but we're gonna do that after we cut it out. And I will show you why. It's hard to line it up and make it work right. Uh oh, I might need some. It's hard to line up for the circle before you cut it out. So we're gonna cut it out first and then we'll stamp the center part. Oh, thank you, Verna. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm a blue girl. And you know, the, the most daisies that you see are yellow. So that's the only reason I went with it. <laughs> and plus Misty Moonlight was one of my favorite colors when it was out as an end color. So I decided that's where I was starting. <laughs> All right. So now we're gonna stamp our little one right here. And we're gonna stamp it right there. And there we go. Okay. Now we're gonna bring back in our little piece here. We're gonna flip this over. We're gonna put dimensionals on it. And I need to cut My scissors are all getting sticky. I'm gonna gotta, I'm gonna have to clean them with some alcohol and some gooby gone. All right, let's get a little one. Okay, so then this one's gonna sit right about here. We're gonna do this one with some dimensionals on it. Everything has dimensionals, right? Oh yeah, Deb. <laughs> when I saw it in the list, I was like, no way. <laughs> I got maybe a little excited. I mean, I always get excited about all new stuff, but you know, it's just that that um stamping curse we have you know we like all the new stuff that comes in um all right let's cut this one let's put a glue dot on the back and this card it does kind of look complicated I will agree it did take me a little while to kind of cut everything out but once you kind of get in a rhythm of stamping it it really was not nearly as bad all right and then we've got one big one left so we're gonna do that one flat. And we're gonna stick that one right about here. Then let's <clears throat> trim off that. Get some glue dots again. You'll use lots of glue dots. All right, and then we're gonna tuck this up underneath here on this side, right there. Then we want to take some more of our, hey Sharon, you are totally good. We are on our first card, so you are just fine. We're gonna cut this piece off and then we're gonna cut this one right here. Let's actually just cut off that bottom. Okay, now we're gonna, oh, you know what? I have a whole nother thing right here. Let's do a longer one. Okay, we're gonna put a glue dot on 
the bottom. We're gonna see how far we can tuck this one up under. Oh, I can get it up under good. Okay, there we go. Now I want to grab some twine and this has been around for a while um, and it's the Baker's Twine Essentials Pack. And we are going to, actually I've got another little piece here so we're gonna use that one. And we're going to fold it in half and we're gonna do what I call a double bow. Which I always think works better with twine it makes it not curl as much when you double it up okay we'll trim off those ends then we will grab another glue dot use a lot of glue dots <laughs> and then we're going to stick the ribbon or the bow right there all right last but not least on it we need to add our little embellishment these are brand new and these are called adhesive back solid gems so let's grab our take your pick tool and we're going to use the lemon lolly we're just going to stick a whole bunch of them around let's do let's see one two three four and then one more we'll do a big one and five Okay, there is card number one. And then let me move all this out of the way and we will move on to card number two. Okay. Make sure I get everything out of the way. I'm gonna put these up here so we can grab them at the end. Okay, so this is card number two. This is what I gave a little sneak peek of yesterday. I was over the weekend, um, which I'm kind of blurry. I don't know why I'm blurry. Um, there we go. Over the weekend, we ended up having to go and take Maggie to the emergency vet. <laughs> so while I was waiting for the doctor and for them to come, and take care of Maggie. I did a lot of card searching and I found just some designer series paper um, from another company that had just a bunch of flowers in the background in bright fun colors and so that's what I decided to do. And I zoomed in a little bit more so that you can see a little better. We're gonna take a whole bunch of colors for this one so I'm going to show them to you real quick. So Boho Blue, which is an in color. And then we've got Flirty Flamingo, Fresh Freesia, Lost Lagoon, and then our sentiment is done in Night of Navy. Look at that color combination. I was, <laughs> I was like, oh, that's a good one. So this is a good, she's doing fine. She now has to have allergy shots, probably. She's allergic to something breaking out hives and, you know, <laughs> keeping us on our toes. <laughs> um, but she's fine. She um, spent uh, a lot of our money. Ben actually has a um, joke now that he says, okay, so there's two jokes about her. The first one is that um, Maggie's nickname is called Nickel and Dime because literally the child, well, the dog, the child, she's our child. Um, she has had something wrong with her since the day we got her, like everything. She's allergic to everything. Um, <laughs> and then he told, he told the doctor, the vet doctor on um, Sunday, he said, I thought about just sending her in with my debit card in her mouth and just say, do whatever. <laughs> go spend away because that's literally how it feels some days with her but she's doing much better her bumps are going away she's back to eating normal food again we're not having to cook for her so you know it's fun times right <laughs> fun times okay so let's start with fresh freesia we're gonna try to do about three per color i don't know if we will get it all on there but we're gonna try our hardest we're going to start in the corner. Oh 
I'll put one right down here. And then let's put one right about here. Okay, then we're gonna take our, I pulled in grid paper because we're gonna stamp off every time we do it. And just so you know, these stamps are really easy to line up. Really, really easy. All right, so one more. And then we're gonna have to clean because you don't wanna mix your colors. Great to have a chamois. It comes in handy with something like this. All right, so we're gonna set that one aside. And then we're gonna do Flirty Flamingo. I think Flirty Flamingo is such a great color with um, Fresh Freesia. I think they offset each other very nicely. All right, so then let's put this one right about here. And then we'll put this one up here. Okay. Stamp off. And let's get it lined up right there. Oop. Almost messed it up. You gotta concentrate when you're doing this, when you're stamping off first. Okay. And I didn't get that one quite on. Okay, so let's close this one. And we will move to Boho Blue. And I'm gonna say, I couldn't remember Lost Lagoon very much um, when I started playing with it but I really like the color. So I, I didn't think I had liked the color back in the day, but apparently um, I must have because it is really pretty or maybe it's just the color combination, who knows. All right, so then let's do one more here. Nope, we're gonna do it right here. Okay, so we'll probably only be able to get two Lost Lagoon, but that's just fine. All right, so stamp off and then stamp on. Stamp off. Stamp on. Stamp off. And stamp on. There we go. All right, so there's Boho Blue. And clean it one more time. Hello, Melissa. And let's do Lost Lagoon. And yep, that's gonna be it. So only two for Lost Lagoon. So we'll stamp it off. And when it dries, it does dry a little lighter. So, and it'll look really pretty. Stamp off and then stamp on. See if I can get it lined up. All right. And then while we are stamping, let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment using Knight of Navy. We're gonna try to get this centered. Perfect. You know, I'm thinking it actually was a color right when I started. Um, <clears throat> I cannot, I honestly cannot, I remember the color, but I remember thinking I didn't like it. And you know, that may have been, been actually Pretty Peacock that I didn't like, because Pretty Peacock was an in color. So that could have been it. Okay, we are going to put our sentiment right about here. Yep, I think that'll work. I feel like that's a little blank right there. Can we do this? We could do that, we'll do that. Okay, so we're gonna take some of our elegant, simply elegant trim. And 
and we're going to tie a pretty decent sized bow. I want to make sure it sticks out. Y'all can see which color I use the most. <laughs> I use uh, definitely the silver, far more than I do the gold. And then we're gonna take a little bit of adhesive and just stick it right there in the back. And then we'll stick that there. We're gonna take and pop that up over it. So we're just gonna put a dimensional on either side of it. And the bow, the center of the bow, will kind of keep the middle up. And for some reason, mine is looking um, like it's going in and out as far as like um, blurriness. Are y'all are y'all seeing that too? Or is it just me? All right, now we're gonna take and flip this over. We're gonna put a little bit of adhesive right there. And I used the scallop, I used Boho Blue and the scallop contour dies, you know, like one of my favorites. And then we're going to attach it just to the edge over here. Like that. Okay, we're gonna put dimensionals on the back you do see blurriness. Okay. Let me see if I can zoom back out. Maybe that's, maybe my hand is making it too close. We'll try this. It could be my phone. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> um, maybe it needs something else to focus on other than my hand being up large and in charge with it. Oh, really? Oh, Deb, I'm sorry. It could be the Wi-Fi, too. You know, a lot of people have been complaining about the Wi-Fi around here. Um, not, not necessarily in just Winsboro, but in several areas. My mom says that hers has been messing up, and she's in Lexington, like the backside of Lexington, um, which is nowhere close to me. My, mom, my parents are about, I don't know, 45 minutes, 45 minutes good if there's no traffic from me, so um, they're even having issues. So I'm wondering if it's a, just a South Carolina thing, I guess. All right, let's do our card base. Grab our bone folder. And then we're gonna center this on the front and we're gonna center it so that like this is included in that centerness on either side. All right. We've got a piece for the inside, so we're gonna go ahead and attach that. All right, there. And then the long awaited <laughs> putting a million pearls on it. But I think the pearls really make this card. Okay, so we're gonna put on some of them, we're gonna put three and we're gonna use the little ones. So we'll put three there like that. And then we'll do three on this one. And let's do three on the blue one up there. Okay, and then we've got one more here. So we're gonna stick that one right there. Then we're gonna do big ones and all of the other ones. Actually, we may do Nah, we're gonna do big ones. That one, we'll put a little one in there since it's so close to the edge. And then I need to do one there. And then let's do, you know what? We're gonna do a big one on either side, okay. 
So a big one and a big one. Okay, so there is the card. I love fun colors. Um, so having all the fun colors is uh, great. It does, obviously, you've got to remember to stamp off, but I think it turned out really well. And see, is wherever you kind of have a blank spot, you can add that sentiment so it kind of fills it in and it doesn't look like it's missing something. So, all right, so there is card number two. Let me put this up over here. All right, I'm gonna see if, let's see if I turn off the light. If that does anything, I don't think it's going to. I think it's gonna, hey, Kathy. Nope, see that didn't work at all. It still has like a, oh, that just made it worse. <laughs> all right, let's see. I don't know why it's blurry and I'm sorry for that. I don't know, there might be, there might be an app somewhere or a, um, a setting somewhere that I can, I can look into. I will do that as soon as I get off. But I will say that it should upload um, clear. I hope it will upload clear. It should. Um, if not, I can download it and see if I can play with it some. My husband's taught me a lot of things over the years. <laughs> um, thank you, Kathy. Okay, so our last is gonna be a box, and I am super excited about this box. I am going to open it so that you can see what is inside of it. And ta-da! It is four little Hershey bars, so you can actually fit a full-size Hershey bar in here, just so you know. Um, but I couldn't find any, so you can fit four. There's four of them in here, um, which will make it the size of a regular Hershey bar. This would be good if you're doing like s'mores during the summer. You could, you know, give everybody their own little, their own little pack. You could also tie the ribbon down here below if you'd like. Um, so there's all kind of different things that you can do. I'm going to put it down here just for now. Um, but I think it is a very cute box. I had a lot of fun creating it, making it. Um, the design itself, um, the actual like full box is from another demonstrator and I can't remember who it's from, but um, then I had fun kind of picking out the pieces for the front. So I've done all the scoring on this. So make sure you go check out my blog because all the score lines and the measurements are on there, so you can go right on over there and check it out. Um, but I figured I would skip that step for y'all. Um, I did use the scoreboard for it, but you can go get all those measurements right off. And um, the link is in the description of the video. And the post should be live now. <laughs> it should be very much live. Okay, so we have a shorter piece. And that's what we're going to cut off. So we're going to cut off these two sections right here on both sides. So I'm going to grab my longer scissors. And we're going to cut straight up. And then straight up from the outside. So you're not going to notch in at all on this side. All right, so then we're going to cut here. And then we're gonna cut straight up. And we're gonna come down here to these two little ones right here. We're gonna cut straight up and then we're gonna notch it in. I don't know if y'all can hear, but Maggie <laughs> is whining because she can't get in here. Hi. Oh, y'all, she is like having a child. She has her own personality. I love her to death. I love her to death but she definitely has a teenage personality. She huffs and puffs at us all the time when we tell her no. <laughs> um, I tell you, it is definitely like having a kid. Okay, so we've got our pieces there. We're gonna put it all together now. And 
that is okay i need that for stamping um we're going to use some tear tape just because it'll be easier and what i'm actually going to do i'm going to make sure i put it on the right side here okay so we're going to put it here and here And then we're gonna take these little tabs right here and we're gonna attach it to both of those sides. All right, so that's just gonna go straight up and level like that. And then we'll do it on the other side as well. Okay, now this is gonna be the front of our box right here. So I don't want this to come forward. I want these to be, I want the edges to be hidden. So we're just gonna tuck those in and we've got that adhesive that goes all the way up so you're still good. And so then you're just gonna lay it right across there. And I just stick my hand in and push down good. So then we're gonna tuck that in just like that. Now, on my sample, I cut the sides at an angle. I don't like it, so we're gonna leave it full right there. And I may not like that either, <laughs> but we'll see. <laughs> um, I do need to trim this off just slightly. There we go. Yep, okay. All right, I have already cut a piece of the designer series paper. This is what coordinates with the daisy. You know, Nancy, you might be right. It could be the wind. It could definitely, the wind is blowing quite enormously out here. It was blowing Maggie's ears straight back when I took her outside. The trees are bending, so that probably is it. Um, this is the fresh as a daisy. Yep, fresh as a daisy, 12 by 12. And there are some pretty patterns in here. It does use a good amount of our new in colors, which is amazing. Um, so, and Pebbled Path is in the background, but I loved this paper. So that's what we're gonna use. And I just cut a little piece. We're gonna stick this on the back side of our box. We're gonna use liquid glue so that I can, so that I can adjust it a little bit. All right. All right, so we got that piece on there. Now we're gonna fold this over and I want to adhere a embossed piece and this is using the 3D base or the basics 3D embossing folders. Y'all, I'm in love with those and I'm gonna be really sad if they get rid of them anytime soon. <laughs> They are absolutely gorgeous. All right. So we're just centering that there on that front tab. All right. So now we're going to take our bow. And you know, I'm going to tell you, I don't like it. I don't think I like it with the sides up like that. Let's put our candy in there and see how it, how it goes. All right. So these I just found at the Dollar General. There's five that come in there and it'll fit four. So the other one is for, <laughs> um, um, you know, for you to eat or to pass along to someone else, right? And of course I gotta get the bag open. I didn't open it because I didn't want to eat them. All right, so we got four there. We'll stick them down. It might help having the, the Hershey's in there because then it'll kind of keep everything straight. But we'll see. <clears throat> All right. Now we're going to take our ribbon, which is, y'all know my favorite ribbon, the gingham, the black and white gingham. And you know, I think I like the bow at the bottom better. So let's just tie the bow at the bottom.
Yes, Kimberly, the Gerber daisies are the best. And you know, that I know that they color them, I get that, but they are just so pretty. Oh, that's weird, okay. I have a weird, weird thing going on here. That's two pieces together, let's see. We're gonna set that one aside and we're gonna, I don't know what that was. We're gonna pull that and try it again. It was a defect. Um, yeah, I love, I love the colors of Gerber, Gerber daisies. And you know, they're at the grocery store all the time. Um, and every time I go past them, I'm like, Ben, can we get some for the house? I don't keep flowers very often because I kill them. Um, but Gerber daisies, even if they only last a couple days, I'm good. Brings a smile to my face. All right, so we got that on there. And let's see, I already cut out this, so we're gonna use the all that dies. And I cut out the label from there. And we're gonna stamp our sentiment. And I cut this out of the Stylish Shapes dies. And we're gonna take our, <clears throat> we're gonna take our piece here. We're gonna put dimensionals on both sides of the ribbon on the top. So we're gonna do there and there, and then take those off. and then pull it down some like that. And then we're gonna cut out our, our daisies. Bye Deb, I'm sorry. I, yeah, it's gotta be the wind. That has got to be the, the problem going on. That is, that is always my luck too, right? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna cut this out. We're gonna actually use um, our Large die, that's what I was trying to think of. We're gonna use the large die. We're gonna cut this out, but then we also wanna cut out this one, and that's gonna go behind it, um, which is gonna make it a little easier as well. So um, you could also cut out another white one to put behind that if you wanted to do that, totally up to you. Um, we're gonna see if we can fit this in our little mini. Oh, Verna, that's great. <laughs> I'm so glad. <laughs> At least one person's getting me. Okay, it won't fit in that one. So we'll have to go to the big one. That's okay. I got it right here too. With all my stickies on it. You know, internet is just so finicky all the time. It's crazy. It's crazy how it all works. All right. And we're gonna run all that through. And then we're gonna have all our little pieces. And I'm gonna put all those over there because I don't want to lose anything. And And so they connect all together like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little paper snips and we're just gonna cut them apart. I'm not gonna worry about what it'll look like cutting apart right now. We're just gonna cut them apart. We'll uh, make them look cute in a minute. And then we're gonna cut off the leaves. All right. Okay, so we've got that piece. We're gonna set that one aside for a minute. And then we've got that one. Okay, so let's go in here. We're gonna trim off these little extras. Just like that. All right, let me grab a different pair of scissors. Those are too um, inky. 
There we go. Okay, so we got all that done. Now I need to poke out those center pieces. And it does take it just a second to do it. You could also put adhesive backings on the back and then when you peel that backing off from the adhesive sheets, it'll take all those little pieces right out. Um, or you could keep those little dots in all you wanted. That would be totally fine too. All right. Just a couple more. There are some new pieces coming to the um, Take Your Pick tool, which I'm super excited about um, from the new catalog, which is great. Um, on the box, I use the Basics, Nancy, um, and this one, so there's three that come in the Basics. There's this one, this one, so these are polka dots, and then these are hash marks, and then there's this one, which is kind of like a, it, it looks like a flower, almost like a sand dollar flower, um, which I know there's not anything that says sand dollar flower, but I mean, it just kind of reminds me of a sand flower, but they're, um, or a sand dollar, but it looks like flowers. They come in a bundle together. You have to get all three and it's $30 for all three. So it's $10 a piece. Um, but I have loved them. I have used them on a lot of things already. A lot. Okay. We are going to attach. We're just going to do it just because I cut it out. So we're going to attach this. Maybe if I find the right, there we go. So we are gonna attach it. I'm gonna put some liquid glue on my leaves here. And then we're gonna attach it right down here. These are easy to line up because you've got this little square and then you got your little square there too. So it really is easy to line up your dies for these and also your, um, when you do your cutouts like this. Okay, so we've got that done. Let's do, we're not gonna use this one, we're gonna put this one aside. And then this one we're gonna use. We just need to poke out the little one right there. We're gonna put some liquid glue on the back. And then we'll attach this one right there. Oops, I moved it. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to take a daffodil. Hello, Michelle. How are you feeling? We're going to take the dark daffodil delight and we're going to color the bottom. Now I'm going to show you, we're going to go up because we want those circles colored. So we're going to go up just a little bit higher and then we're going to make sure that we get it all inside our little dots there like that. And then on this one, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do the circle. And then we're going to color. You could leave them white if you wanted, but I'm not going to. I'm going to color them in. You could even go in and color them with a darker color. Like you could do light, um, daffodil delight, and then go in with the darker if you wanted um, kind of some contrast with it, which I think would be pretty. Now we are going to take and stick one flower right there. And so we're just going to put a little bit of liquid glue down here because we want it to not adhere to our box. So we're going to attach that there. Make sure it adheres. We're going to take our sentiment now. If I can find it, there it is. We're going to flip it over. We're going to put dimensionals along the back and look at there got rid of a whole sheet 
and we're going to attach it here. We are going to grab another thing of dimensionals and we're going to put two dimensionals on the back of our other one. Oh, will they, Kimberly? Oh, really? Really? Okay. Um, I, yeah, I guess I need to be doing that. <laughs> yes, yes, and yes. Okay, I'm going to take the little one and I'm going to stick it right here on top. So I'm popping it up as well. And then there is your box. I'm going to tell you I don't like it. So we're going to trim it. And we're just going to go from edge to edge. And then we'll do it on this side too. If you figure out a way that you, you know, can keep it from popping up, you can certainly keep it, but it's not working like that for me. So there we go. So there is our box. And those are our projects for tonight. Thank you all for joining me. So we got our box and here's our second card. And then here was our first. And don't forget to use the Host code if you place an order and you will get the cards, um, the, the class packet um, for making these three projects right here. Um, the host code is also in the link of the, um, in the description of the video. Don't forget to make sure, go watch um, all of the fun stuff that's going on with the catalog launch party. Um, I lost my card somewhere. There it is. <clears throat> This is the card that I have for the um, catalog launch party. Again, there's lots of fun games. There's prizes that you can win. So make sure you go check it out um, and come back on Friday. And this card will be up. I will have a video as well as blog post for you on it. So I hope you enjoyed the projects tonight and I will see you guys next week. Bye.